Welcome to St Andrews, Scotland. So this week we're going to take the Solheim Cup on a tour around to see some of Scotland's most famous landmarks. And I thought, what better place to start the journey than the home of golf itself. For the first part of our trip, we're travelling to the Isle of Mull by ferry. Halfway through our drive, the satnav redirected us through this stunning farmland and we really felt like we were seeing the true Scotland. We also met these beautiful Highland cows, or coos, as you say in Scottish. And I absolutely loved them, but they didn't seem that bothered by us, or the car, clearly. I really enjoyed the ferry journey to Mull and the views were unreal. Also, no boat journey is quite complete without a Titanic reenactment. Once off the ferry, we drive straight to our next destination of Toby Mori. No long drive is quite complete without a Disney sing along, in my opinion, and I think I'm probably singing to something from Pocahontas here. So we've just got the ferry over to Tobermory, which is where we are now, and it's, it's beautiful, it's so lovely here. And it reminds me of being back home a little bit. I'm from Devon in the southwest of England, so I feel very, very fond of this place already. It's also one of the premier destinations in the UK to go wildlife watching, so I'm hoping we see a little bit of that today. For many of my UK viewers, you might recognise the scene right behind me. It's actually the set for a TV programme that my sister and I used to watch when we were younger called Balamori. So it's actually really nice to see it in real life. Back to the port we go to get the ferry over to Oban. By the time the ferry had departed, the sun was setting and it was a perfect end to a brilliant first day in Scotland. We are driving to Aylandonan Castle, which I'm really, really excited about because you see loads of pictures of it, but I think until you actually see it, you know, in front of you, you don't get to fully appreciate how lovely it is. And actually, we've been really lucky with the weather, so even better. just been told by the castle keeper that there's a secret area to go to to get like the perfect picture so we're driving there now so the 13th century castle down here is strategically located on its own little island well, um, and in the distance you can see it looks over the island of sky and it's pretty awesome Look at that, that's amazing. 
Well, we made it to the Kelpies and it's more beautiful than I realised, to be honest, and actually a lot bigger. A Kelpie, did you know, is a mythical creature that is said to haunt lakes and streams in the shape of a horse. I didn't know that. The Kelpies are the world's largest equine sculptures, standing at over 100 feet above the Falls and Clyde Canal. Just 95 feet taller than me then. So behind me you've got the Forth Rail Bridge, the Forth Road Bridge and the Queen's Ferry Bridge. And the Forth Rail Bridge, which is the lovely red one behind me, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and seen as a symbol of Scotland. The next stop on our trip is Edinburgh, where we're off to take the penultimate selfie by the Edinburgh Castle. So we've made it to Edinburgh Castle. Edinburgh as a city is lovely. I don't think I've fully appreciated how nice it was until I've been here and seen everything that it has to offer. Um, so we're going to go and take the selfie shortly. But just before we do, I wanted to say on the record how much I love the castle and the general area. It reminds me of something from Game of Thrones and I'm a huge fan, so a winner in my book. So we're on our way to Glen Eagles now and we're handing back the Solheim Cup, which I'm very sad about. Um, but I'm really, really excited to see Dan Eagles, I've never been. Um, I want to see what the menu looks like, and apparently the hotel is awesome, so on we go. Here we are. Immediately as you turn in, you're aware of how spectacular Glen Eagles is. You're met with rows of buggies next to the great clubhouse, keen golfers playing out in the rain, and beautifully maintained gardens. The hotel itself has a real regal feel to it, and within my first moments of being here, I'm starting to picture exactly what it's going to be like in September. Mine's definitely better. So the Solheim Cup will be played at the PGA Centenary course right here at Glen Eagles, which was exactly the same course that Europe won the Ryder Cup in 2014. Before the cup goes back, I just had to hit a shot off the first tee, getting a small insight into what the players will be seeing when they tee up here later in the year. And I've got to admit, it's made me that little bit more excited for the event. So that's all from me. I will see you in September when Europe will be lifting this. <laughs>